This is another morning show. I'm your host, Stephen Hawking. And today we're going to discuss theorems regarding gravitational singularities in the framework of general relativity. And when we... What's that? Oh, I I'm being told we'll discuss bedsheets instead. In the comments section of the previous episode of Another Morning Show, we find Chabzilla, and she asks, Martha wouldn't get back to me. How often should you change your bed sheets and why? There are any number of ways to determine the answer to this question. I will discuss two of them. My wife, for example, uses a method by which she employs a standard household calendar and she will scan the calendar for occurrences of the word Monday. And at any occurrence of the word Monday, she will want to change the bedsheets. Now, to me, this is a rather pedestrian methodology. I think we can look to astronomy for a solution to this problem. My recommendation to you is scan the skies for Halley's Comet. And whenever Halley's Comet is viewable from Earth, you know, you take out the new bedsheets. The universe is actually full of clues telling us when to do things. I mean, you know, this is one that everyone knows, but, but you know, like, like at every solar eclipse, we, we brush our teeth. In the last few years, a big black hole has opened up in our little patch of space. It's called Twitter. And, uh, Here's a tweet. Another morning feeling like P. Diddy. Hashtag fabulous. I've had a few mornings too where, where I've felt like P. Diddy. I guess for me those mornings generally entail, you know, on a sort of epic scale of our universe, wanting to just, just desecrate someone's favorite song. Well, I am... Um, I think it's time you let a man sleep. But uh, before I go, I just... I just wanted to say... More productive. Comfortable. Not drinking too much. Regular exercise at the gym three days a week. Getting in better with your associate employee contemporaries.